What up, guys? Mom Vernon Kid here, back again. <laughs> uh, how's everybody doing out there? Um, so, um, today we're gonna um, I'm gonna tackle someone's request. Um, as you all know, um, for if you haven't heard or you didn't watch my uh, six thousand subscriber celebration hangout, uh, my request are taking a new approach now um, and uh, it kinda started from this guy right here who started it so I took it from him and I wanna thank him for that uh, but uh, I kinda took my list that I had and I started cutting a lot of stuff out of it reason being is because I totally forgot a lot of them who requested these so I the ones I knew that I put in the list that I was going to react to myself and the, the request, I forgot a lot of them and I apologize for that. So we're starting anew with this, uh, and you probably saw it on a, a, a earlier vid before this, but um, this request and the person, first of all, the person that kind of uh, inspired me to do it like this a little bit is uh, by the guy, a guy named, he's from San Antonio, Texas. Uh... His name is Sean Allen, uh, a.k.a., I want to make sure I get it right, uh, Elusive Sean X. He also has a, a um, YouTube account name is Comic Freak X. Uh, but I want to thank him for this. So I'm going to start off with his, his request, one of his requests, because he started it. Uh, as for what it was, here's the link, here's the, the screenshot of his request via Twitter, uh, where is it, should be popping up somewhere around here, check it out over there or somewhere, <laughs> somewhere over there, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to start with this, uh, he's gave me something like this before, it was really cool, he, he knows how I am about, you know, when it comes to comic stuff and comic related stuff, and you know, I'm all for that, uh, so what we're going to do today, we're going to watch nine uh, actors who refuse huge Marvel roles. Let's see what this is. I'm looking for. I want to see who's on the list. Um, let's do this. Planning a role in a Marvel movie means potential stardom for up and coming actors, renewed popularity for aging vets, and a fat paycheck for anyone willing to don a cool metal suit. But despite Marvel's impact on the modern movie business, not every actor's keen to put on a mask and do battle with <laughs> alien armies. Here are a few actors who refused right. big Marvel roles. Russell Crowe. These days, Marvel movies are guaranteed to bring in big numbers at the box office. But before the year 2000, that wasn't necessarily the case. Fortunately, things started to change for Marvel when Bryan Singer's X-Men first hit the big screen. It's credited as the film that gave rise to the modern era of superhero movies and transformed Hugh Jackman from a stage performer into That's a true. Hollywood A-lister. But according to the actor, it was pure luck he got the part in the first place. At one point, the filmmakers turned to Russell Crowe. I still to play can't believe it. <laughs> who was fresh off the set of Gladiator. However, Crow turned the part down for a reason that's, well, okay. a little weird. Well, I, I've him. just done a character whose uh, you know, animal totem was the wolf. That fellow Max in Gladiator didn't want to be Wait, what? the wolf again. Of course, what? Crow what? further okay. clarified his reasoning. And plus it's a cartoon. It was a cartoon. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really into those. <laughs> But that didn't really stop him from yeah, marrying yeah, Man of Steel. Big hypocrite! Luckily for superhero fans everywhere, he did recommend that Brian Singer go with Hugh right. Jackman, who'd previously right. auditioned for the part. Matt, da Matt Damon. As hard as we try, no one can forget 2003's Daredevil. While the Ben Affleck flick did well financially, critics tore it apart. When asked about the film in 2016, Affleck responded, I hated Daredevil so much. 
You know what I mean? And I was in it. And I, no, no, you know, that's you know, bullshit you know, right there. I, okay I was pissed off with it that. Turns out that Affleck could have been spared all that embarrassment if his best friend had. I knew it first. I Matt fucking Damon knew it. Offered the part of Daredevil, and it was a pretty I, tempting deal since Damon and Affleck considered Daredevil to be the superhero. It. But when Damon was approached with the project, reportedly he just wasn't impressed with the script or familiar enough with the director. Affleck couldn't say no, and has come to regret that decision. But at least Daredevil's failure inspired him to get his next superhero movie right. Joseph Gordon-Levitt Over the years, there have been a lot of whispers about Joseph Gordon-Levitt in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but JGL has denied them all, from Doctor what? Strange to Ant-Man. Nevertheless, according to Deadline, the actor was in the running for the role what? of Quill. AKA, Whoa! Dead, which he allegedly turned down to play the character of Johnny in Sin City, a dame to kill for. Which probably wasn't a great choice for Gordon Levitt, but we're pretty happy with Chris Pratt. Olivia Munn. When Deadpool hit okay, I heard of this in one. early 2016, moviegoers went wild for the film's raunchy humor and bloody shootouts. X-Men Apocalypse, on the other hand, wasn't quite so successful, limping away from theaters with a Rotten Tomato score of Who fucking cares about Rotten Tomato? But none of these numbers really mattered to Olivia Munn. Before signing up to play the role of Psylocke in X-Men, Munn was first offered the role of I heard Vanessa about this. Carlisle, Deadpool's scrappy girlfriend. Munn turned the part down in favor of playing the spandex-clad mutant, saying that she wasn't interested in playing the protagonist's eye candy. Instead, she wanted to be a character with powerful abilities, extreme fighting skills, and a costume that's pretty much yeah. underpants. Mel Gibson It was a coup for Marvel's movies when award winner Anthony Hopkins agreed to join the MCU oh, yeah. as Odin. Thor's father and king of Asgard. While he seems like an obvious pick for the role, he wasn't the only actor in the running Whoa. for the All-Father. In an interview with The Guardian, Mel Gibson explained that he Rip, was asked I, to play This Odin is new to me! As he succinctly put it, I didn't do it. At first glance, the action star seems like an odd pick to play the stately Norse god, but with a solid background in yeah. experience theater, Gibson probably would have felt comfortable with Odin's aristocratic dialogue. Of course, with all the controversy surrounding the actor, it was probably best for the MCU that Gibson turned down the part. Jessica Chastain Iron Man 3 was the second she was gonna be Pepper the Pots? Are you movie of 2013, and its praise and profit isn't undeserved. Audiences enjoyed witty dialogue, a brilliant plot twist, and one of the greatest ending set pieces in Marvel movie history. The only thing it really lacked was Jessica Chastain. The studio wanted Chastain to play oh, the okay. part of Mark right. Hansen, a scientist who may or may not be on Tony Stark's side. Unfortunately, Chastain had to pass on the role because she was just too busy. She said to her Facebook fans, I know many of you want me to be involved and I'm sorry to disappoint you. Hopefully, there will be another Marvel film in my future. Of course, it isn't like Chastain's decision hurt her career. After she turned down the role, it went to Rebecca Hall. Originally, Maya Hansen was supposed to be the ultimate villain of the film, but someone up the chain of command ordered writer-director Shane Black to make the bad guy a dude because female action figures supposedly don't sell that well, leaving Hall in a much less important role than anticipated. Joaquin Phoenix when Marvel's I know about Doctor Strange. I know this. Audiences to Doctor Stephen Strange. There were a few names at the top of their list. They were allegedly interested in the likes of Jared Leto and Ryan Gosling. But it seems Joaquin Phoenix came even closer to landing the gig. The Oscar-nominated star ultimately decided to pass on the Sorcerer Supreme because he didn't feel he would do well in his studio full of green screens, and the role went to okay. Benedict Cumberbatch. However, there was a brief bit of time where it seemed Cumberbatch wouldn't be able to wear the cloak of levitation as he'd already signed up to play Hamlet in a London stage production. To accommodate Cumberbatch's schedule, the studio ended up pushing back Doctor Strange's release date. Emily Blunt Marvel realized Emily Blunt's action star I, I know about this one too. The his, as Kevin Feige and John Favreau prepared to shoot Iron Man 2, they offered she the was, English actress one of the biggest roles gonna be in Black the Widow. cinematic universe, Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow. Unfortunately for Blunt, the timing just didn't work out. 
She was busy with the Jack Black comedy Gulliver's Travels and had to pass on playing the Russian super spy, which was a pretty huge mistake. Marvel still really wanted Blunt to join the MCU, so when it came time to film Captain America, the first Avenger, execs asked if she'd be interested in playing Steve Rogers' capable love interest, Peggy Carter. Once again, the timing was off and the part went to Hayley Atwell. In a 2012 interview with Vulture, Blunt admitted that she's still open to a superhero role as long as she gets to play a hero, saying, Usually, the female parts in a superhero film feel thankless. She's the pill girlfriend while the guys are whizzing around saving the world. I can respect Matthew that. Matthew McConaughey. If you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy, it's easy to see why people are incredibly psyched for its sci-fi sequel, and it seems like any actor in Hollywood would gladly sign up for a trip to Xander. For example, both Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell will appear alongside Chris <laughs> Pratt, but despite all the excitement, not every actor is willing to soar off into space with Star-Lord. In an interview with Playboy, Oscar winner Matthew McConaughey said he was offered a role in Volume 2, but turned it down to appear in an adaptation of Stephen King's The Dark Tower, saying, I like Guardians of the Galaxy, but what I saw was, it's successful, and now we've got room to make a colourful part for another big name actor. I'd feel like an amendment. McConaughey didn't say which part he was offered in Volume 2, though most agree he would have played a villain. Still, the Guardian sequel should be plenty of fun even without of McConaughey course. in the film, though it would be a lot cooler if he signed up. Action! And there's the chick. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the. All right. Um. Uh, most of these. Um. I'm kind of speaking to Sean directly because he's the one who requested this. Uh, most of these Sean I'm familiar with. I know about Emily Blunt. Um, I know she wanted. They wanted her for Black Widow. I would have taken her for Black Widow. No offense to Scarlet. Then I know they wanted her for. Peggy, but kind of thankful she didn't because we wouldn't have gotten to see Haley so well. Thank you so much. Um, who else? Kurt Russ? I mean, uh, the Daredevil joint. I fucking knew that one. I always knew. I, I couldn't believe. I've always went on record to say Matt Damon would have been a perfect Matt Murdock. And to find out here that he was up for the role, just makes my heart flutter. Um, but I do, I do know Ben Affleck saying those words about a year, a couple of years later, saying all those words about Daredevil, like it was a horrible movie. I hated doing it, and I'm like, I at that point I was so pissed off at Ben Affleck, like, you fucking hypocrite, like you went on record to say Daredevil was your favorite character, I always blah 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 blah, and you. And then you turn around and say this bullshit, and it's like, I had a lot, I had a long time trying to forgive him for saying that. Uh, but uh, I've always felt like I do want to see Matt Damon in a movie. I do. The others I've heard, you know, I've heard a lot, but you know, it's always good to see some stuff. And you know, um, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, Olivia Munn. As much as you looked, let me let me tell you something, sweetheart. Um, as much as you looked like my Elizabeth Braddock, aka Psylocke, your character, you still did not really play her right. You had no real direction as Psylocke, and your character needs more direction, in my opinion. So, hey, say what you want about Monica. Um, I'm forgetting her last name. Who played Vanessa? In De Deadpool, but she made that character her own. She did very well. Uh, so, yeah, other than that. But thank you, Sean, for this. I appreciate it, man. I know I've seen a couple more uh, tweets from you saying, hey, I got another one to add to your list, Chris. Hashtag react, please, Chris. Yes. Uh, so I, I will definitely get to those sooner or later. But other than that, guys, Mom Vernon Kid. Uh, Link in the description below for the original uh, original channel, Looper, and everything like that. Uh, but other than that, guys, I am out of here. Take care. Hey, guys. Thank you for tuning in for my reactions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any requests, y'all, 
don't forget to provide me with the link in along with the hashtag slogan react please chris that is hashtag react please chris and as always this is mom Vernon kid saying peace i'm out